from you? I'll connect you to it, okay? This runs on nine volt batteries. Okay. You flip that over, that slides down and off like a TV remote. Mm -hmm. There's one already in there and there's three more going home with you. Okay. Because we do recommend running this initially for these first two to three days as much as you can tolerate. And once those two to three days are up, if you're enjoying using it, it's helping you, by all means, continue to use it. Okay. If you feel the benefit is actually helping so much that you could lower any dosages and medication, maybe even helps you get off that medication a little sooner, especially if it's and we're a talking about the purpose of medication. Especially if it's a narcotic, exactly, yes. which mm -hmm. I don't know, but it, you know, hey, that's why these are great options as well. Mm -hmm. There's always going to be three things that I ask you to remember to do or don't do when using our tens unit. The first. You see how I just opened that and those controls inside? Mm -hmm. Well, guess what? Don't look too hard because pretend I didn't. Mm -hmm. I've set those to where they're needed. You don't have to touch those. Okay. That electrical stimulation around your hip, you, today I will control in recovery and you will control with those dials. You see right now how that zero lines uh -huh. up to those marks right there in front of it? Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. So that's how we read it. That's how we set it. That's the off position. Now, when I come into recovery and hook you to it, I turn you on, and I leave you on the number two. Uh -huh. Or no, excuse me, I start on the number two. Okay. We always want to start there. Now, as that anesthesia wears away and pain starts trickling in, as soon as you start to feel or you are experiencing pain and soreness, that's when you're turning the dials up and intensifying the stimulation. Okay. But the next important thing we need to remember, since you've never used one of these, these things are powerful, so you do not crank them up, okay? Like, for example, the two, don't even they go did to it, They did it at the physical therapist, yes. and I was, like, convulsing. Don't do that. So the two, don't even go to the three. Those little spaces you're seeing between each number, I envision, and I call those half numbers. So from two, two and a half. It will intensify. Ooh. From two and a half, I'm going to go to three. It's going to intensify. I'm going to ask you, can I go three and a half? I want to make sure this is your It'll number. intensify. I'm going to ask you, mm -hmm. can I go four? Doctor, fourteen. And so on and so on and so on. Mm -hmm. So basically, the way to sum this up best, okay. the goal of the tens unit is to get those numbers to where you can, okay. or as high as you can, by going in those small and gradual increments. Yeah. Okay. But only while that right, stimulation is comfortable and manageable for you. There's no set number I need you to aim for. It's all in what you're happy with, okay? Is this similar? I just want to, just so I can uh -huh. relate to her. I've been getting a therapy on my back spasms. Have you been going to? Really, have you been going to a chiropractor? Yeah, and they yep. these little gel pads, Same and they, go, they tell me like, would stop when it starts. Same to, exact thing. I yep. think so cool. Too. Yep. I call them jellyfish kisses yep. because it feels like this. Yep. And it doesn't exactly hurt. It's it just this tingly feeling. Yep. So remember, the goal is to get the numbers to where you can or as high as you can by going in those small and gradual increments but only while the stimulation is comfortable and manageable for you. Mm -hmm. okay. There's no set number you need to aim for. It's all in what you're happy with, yeah. okay? But there's yeah. no side effects to nope, that. Nope, not one bit whatsoever. Now, is it on all the time? It, we t we recommend the first two to three days as oh, much okay. as you can tolerate. If you're having trouble sleeping, if you want to take a little break from it, totally your call. Okay, yep. okay. Now, the battery life, you're going to feel it weakening around the hip. So if you do wonder what's going on, a low battery indicator actually pops in that box. Looks like one you see on a cell phone. Uh -huh. The very most important thing I tell people, before you go grabbing for that new battery or just doing anything, Check the always, settings. always, always turn it off. Then change your battery. Okay. You put a new battery in here with this thing on and hooked up to you. Oh gosh, it's going to let you know very quickly you do not turn it off. You don't do it twice. <clears throat> All right, Dr. Fortune is going to put those electrodes around your hip in the operating room. I'm going to use your right hip here as an example. Um, you're going to see him because he uses a clear tape, but you won't be able to get to them. So he's going to stick one on the upper part of your thigh, one on the inner, one on the lower, and then one on the outer. Now, the way that I'm going to connect you, I'm going to take one wire with two connections. I'm going to do the one on the upper and take the connection and go down to the one on the lower. So we're going up and down right there. Then I'm going to take the second wire I'm gonna do the one on the inner, we go across to the one on the outer. So basically we're gonna think of a T or a cross going right over the site, mm -hmm. okay? Now those sterilized electrodes that he puts on you, right here, 
okay? Okay. Those are going to stay under that tape until he or whoever at the office takes it off. At or, the post op. Yep. Or they tell you you can take off your bandaging. Whatever that is, those go right in the trash. These are going with you. These are reusables. Okay. Mm -hmm. so again, upper, inner, lower, outer, and you plug in right there. And if you ever want to get more for the future, because like I said, this is yours. There's a number on each of the packages. I typed it in your instructions. It's on the company's business card. Mm -hmm. If you call them, they'll send these right to the house so that in the future, if ever, put oh, yeah. upper, lower back, shoulder, the squares represent where to put the pads. The lines represent the wires. There's your hip right there. This is going to be a family fun time. <laughs> it is. Right. We'll, be fight, like we'll be fighting it. over, over it. it. Can I, everyone in the family has some kind of Can I slap this on my back somewhere? <laughs> oh, it's this, my turn to have this it. This is everything I just said on paper. <laughs> I would say if something comes up, read this. If this doesn't answer your question, then you need anything. My name and number is highlighted on the bottom. It's on the back of their brochure. And it's on my business card. You give me a call if you need me, okay? Okay. Oh, you're going to like having that. Yeah, this, oh, is, right. this is great. Christmas comes early, my dear. You get a, you get a new <laughs> hip and a 10 unit. And I think, yeah, and I think I told you I'd like um, already met my out of pocket yep. maximum yep. with insurance. And I was like, heck yeah, bring on the stuff. <laughs> well, Rob's going to be all over the 10 you, you were on your way to your pre op appointment, weren't you? Yeah, well, yes, I yeah, I was because I was like, yeah. I was freaking out. I was late for everything. Yeah, and she told me, the tens guy called me. What's this all about? And I'm like, oh, yeah, you're going to want you're that. You're going to like that. Uh -huh. All right, well, I'll see you after. Okay, okay thank, thank you. you.